Hello everybody. Welcome to the frayed brush. I'm Big Aaron. As you can see, I'm moving some things out of the way. Have a little bit of a special video today. So if any of you have been following uh, Reaper, they have been doing, they had a Kickstarter back from November of 2019 is when the, the Kickstarter went through. It was a success. And this past Monday, they started the fulfillment process. So today's video is going to be the Bones 5 Kickstarter unboxing from Reaper Miniatures. So the uh, box has been opened. You know, I wanted to check and make sure that um, everything was there that I had ordered. So what we'll do, I'll go ahead and open this up. We'll see what's in it. Then we'll look at the individual products. It's a very large box. This is the second Kickstarter I've been through on Reaper. Uh, first one was a great success. <clears throat> so I was definitely willing to jump into the uh, next one I had an opportunity to. So here it comes with a, <clears throat> a card for uh, ReaperCon, which if you've been following my channel, you see I've been doing the Road to ReaperCon videos. Uh, kind of just keeping up with the uh, progress of my project that I'm going to be entering into their uh, Master Series Open. <clears throat> um, here is a brochure covering their paint line. That's pretty nice. Be able to use that so I can check off the paints that I own and the ones that I need to need to get. There's the Pathfinder line that they put out uh, last year, year before maybe. And this also uh, highlights their new fast palettes they've started um, they've started selling, which are basically like, so you have Fantasy Flesh here. It's basically six bottles of paint that revolve around painting Fantasy Flesh Flesh of the Damned, Fantasy Flesh, Fire and Brimstone, Hammer and Anvil, uh, High Seas Adventure, High Seas Horror, Fantasy Flesh Tan Skin. Sorry, this was Fair Skin. Then you got Fantasy Flesh Dark Skin. Um, <clears throat> there's a few companies out there that that do the boxed paint sets like this. It's a really good idea. Then it also came with um, how to prep and paint your Bones miniatures. Um, looks like maybe some frequently asked questions section, and then it goes through a quick rundown of the basic steps to paint a miniature. Now for the products. So I ordered two of the uh, dragon head busts. Let's get this open. Uh, well, let's get everything in the box. Let's do that first. Let me get this big old box out of the way. Okay, so here we go. The first thing I have is the new colors that were uh, specific to the uh, Kickstarter. Um, I'm not sure when these will go into retail. I'm fairly certainly haven't yet. So uh, we've got Lotus Orange, Orchid Purple, um, we've got Oxide Jello, Rich Indigo. We have Black Indigo, Carnival Purple. There's my dog sneezing. Uh, Leaf Bud Green, Oxide Brown. We have Oxide Red, Wild Violet. And we have Ashen Brown and Bruised Purple. So a lot of great colors there. Can't wait to start getting those into use. <clears throat> and 
The other box of paints is what's called Forrester's Favorites, okay? This had input from uh, Ann Forrester. She used to run the paint department at Reaper Miniatures. Uh, I've mentioned a few videos. I'm a follower of her Patreon. Great lady, very knowledgeable. The top, top shelf painter. And these are some of her uh, colors that are her normal go-tos. We've got black and brown and ultramarine blue. We have lava orange and brilliant green. We have monarch purple and noir black. Lantern yellow, heraldic red. We have spectral glow, void blue. And we have bleached linen and peachy flesh. I don't believe. Okay, yeah, some of these I did not have in my previous bottles that I've gotten, so that's a plus. Always good to add to the collection. <clears throat> then we received a bag of uh, bases. It looks to be maybe 28 mil base, maybe 30, 45 mil base. I'm not sure, I'm not big on base sizes so more of those than i know what to do with i ordered two of the uh dragon busts let's open this up real quick so we can take a look at this so some of reaper's miniatures are in a white color called bones this is the uh gray version of that material makes it easier to see and clean up this is not their uh bones black material i don't don't believe doesn't seem quite as uh rigid as the bones black but there's the dragon bust it's a great sculpt can't wait to get started on that <clears throat> there's the second dragon bust I have the uh, Demonic Temptations, which is a mix of male and female demons. Then I have the, this is a pleasant surprise here, I have the uh, Song of Sirens, which, open this up real quick, which comes with a translucent uh, base textured like water and then it comes with all of the individual sirens that uh, get placed inside the base um, I wasn't expecting this to be translucent so I'm not sure if we will keep that translucent or paint it I kind of like the idea of the translucent it looks pretty cool then we also received uh, <clears throat> Sophie's Lucky Dice. Um, Sophie, if you don't know, is Reaper's kind of mascot. Um, and they've had uh, all their Kickstarters kind of, in a way, uh, revolve around Sophie a little bit. Um, and they've started branding uh, their mascot, Lucky Dice. I'm not sure how many different sets there are. I know they do have a set of dice called Pizza Dungeon Dice, and those come in a little round, stackable containers. Um, and I believe each of those comes with a surprise uh, mini from their high roller set in there. <clears throat> so this is the core set. This is what pretty much the Kickstarter is based around. And there are going to be a lot of minis in this box. So as you can tell, this box is, um, let me see, uh, seven inches uh, by five inches. And we're just gonna open it up, dump it out and see what all's in here. And as you can tell, it is packed full. Uh, I believe last count with the core set, was a little over 200 minis. 
um, the core set, if you originally got in on the Kickstarter, was um, $120. $120 buy-in, you get the core set plus all unlocks. The Dragon Heads, Busts, uh, Demonic Temptations, and Song of Sirens were all add-ons for a little bit extra. <clears throat> I do know that they are opening back up their pledge manager on july 5th for what they're calling bones 5.5 and you will be able to actually come in as a late backer and get in and order stuff from the kickstarter at a 20 percent markup from the original reduced kickstarter price so you still get a little bit of a deal um Oh, there's so much stuff in here. So, and I wish they'd have marked these bags. I really didn't pay attention to everything that was coming in the Kickstarter. But, as you can see, let's get, we'll, we'll open this one. I believe this one was called Overgourd. And basically what this one is, it is like a, uh, um, oh goodness, I can't think of what it's called. It's uh, the D&D &D monster that has the big eye and all the tentacles. But basically this is one that is pumpkins, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna be interesting to paint. Then this is a, wow, well, another a translucent dragon. Uh, looks like. Let's open this up and see. A lot of stuff here. Um, so, yes. Translucent dragon. Um, there's the head. Uh... There's the body. Um, goodness, I don't know where the wings go. I don't know. I'll have to look into this and see how to how to put it together. It's kind of crazy though. But he's got there's his uh, tail, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that part doesn't go there. Okay, well. There's the base partially put together. I really like the, I want to sit down and do some looking and see how this actually fits together. Um, I do like the translucent though. That's pretty, that's pretty badass. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a lot more in translucent I wasn't expecting. This looks like a, a golem type maybe. A fire going. I don't know. I can't exactly tell what that is. Um, and then one of the cool things they did was they did spell effects, um, which was pretty awesome. Um, so they actually have the big hands to signify the spell effects. And as you can tell, it's a pretty good size. Um, there's a looks like a casting table, piece of a wall. Um, there's another one. Um, there's one in there. That's the fist. So those are those are pretty awesome. Oh, there's a little bitty flame. Can't lose that. Um, ah, and we were talking about pizza dungeon. Um, this is actually the dragon slash chef. That's their pizza chef. It's the mascot for Pizza Dungeon. It's a dragon, and he's got his little little pizza right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see anything else big here to pick out to show? That's huge. Um, let's see. Looks like some towns, folks. 
looked like a chimera. Um, uh, we got some wolves in there. Uh, looks like these are skeletal. Skeletal guards, maybe skeletal knights. Um, here's some more townsfolk. There's witch. Uh, looks like a rich lady. Royalty. And then this bag also contains the people, but also in other bags are their attachments, such as knives, shields, capes. Um, there's one in particular I was looking for. They have uh, figures that are kids. Oh, there's so many minis. There's a tree person. Awesome. Um, here we go. Here's the, uh, this is kind of awesome right here. So we'll uh, get this opened up here. Uh, take a look at it. Oh, there's a piece of the spell effects. Okay. Um, so these are all kid versions of their fighters. Like there's a little bear. Um, I can't exactly tell what that one is right away. Looks almost like they got a bow gun of some type. And there's a fox. Looks like a little cat of some type. These are called their young adventurers, I believe. There's a little knight. He's got, oh, he's actually got a little a toucan or something on his back. Little goat. That'll be fun to paint. There's that. So these are their uh, young adventurers. Like I said, I think that's what they're called. There's some others in the bags. So There's so many minis. And great quality, too. I haven't seen a single one yet where I'm like, what the hell? So, looking good. Um, so many to go through. I'm sure I'll do a video of assembling some of them. Um, here's like some little rock trolls. They're not rock trolls, but little rock people, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what you call them. Um, there's like a bramble. Almost looks like maybe some scatter terrain or something like that. Um, there's pumpkin head people or pumpkin head person. Um, here's more, almost look like whites. There's some horses in there actually. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> uh, there's another, almost resembles a death knight. A little bin up but with the reapers you can just boil some water dip it down in there real quick not while the water is boiling then immediately put it in some cold water and the reaper bones figures will actually just kind of pop back into shape kind of kind of nice um here's some other uh type scatter stuff there's some archery targets um there's half targets in there some shield weapons racks stuff like that here are some kobolds a bunch of little kobolds uh, looks like we got some cat folk here. Looks nice. Then, um, looks like we got some dwarfs. Maybe? What else? Nope. Nope, looks like a goblin. I guess the other ones are goblinoids, maybe. These are more goblin. I guess full-size goblin, maybe. Um, here we've got a dragon. I'm not quite sure which dragon this is, but I've kind of gotten to the point, especially after Peyton Maldra car from Reaper, that I uh, kind of enjoy dragons. A couple of dragons in there, actually. There's one head, two, there's another body. Looks nice. And then we have, it's a, uh, looks like a rock, rock golem. 
Um, some tapes in there. I'm not exactly sure what all is in this one. There's a lot of stuff in this bag. Ah, there's a golem they made out of representing storm glass. Or a kind of storm glass. Um, uh, stained glass. So he's actually flat like a pane of glass and then you can paint him the uh, different colors and you can see how he has the divisions like stained glass does so it's pretty awesome leaning back a little bit but again the hot water will help that get it back into shape all right so that is the bones five for the most part all the core set couple of the add-ons again they're opening up the pledge manager again on january 5th 2021 that is uh for bones 5.5 for the people that couldn't get into the regular bones uh 20 markup price also if you order something from the pledge manager um starting july 5th until it closes for the bones 5.5 i believe they were saying fulfillment with for that was going to be december the january time frame <clears throat> so Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Throw me a thumbs up. Hit that bell icon for notifications for when the Fade, Fade Brush puts out another video. Uh, I'll put links down to the, I'll try to put links to the pledge manager below. Um, see if I can find it, see if it's still open for me to grab. Uh, again, hope you liked the video. Happy painting. And remember, if anybody asks, Big Aaron sent you.